Hello, America! You know what time of year it is, and that's what the hat's for. <laughs> also, it was Bike to Work Day, and uh, recently in my area, and this is the shirt that they gave us. It is an eyesore, so my recommendation is in retaliation, if you have the opportunity to drive to work, please do so. Our war on nature is almost complete. Alright, so I'm sure as many of you are aware, recently DC had a big kind of mini events: Batman 700, Superman 700, and Wonder Woman 600. And how all these ended up on the 100 this month, I find a bit sketchy and I feel they kind of pulled a few too many strings to get there. But here it is. And so I thought I'd do a little compare, contrast, so that uh, you could kind of get a sense of I don't know if you're thinking maybe pick one up, which one you should. Okay, the first thing to look at, obviously, is the cover. It's a comic book. Judge it by the cover, right? So, first up is Batman. I think it's a striking cover. Looks good. Grabbed me. Made me want to read it, actually. I'm, as you know, not the biggest Batman fan, but I was kind of on the fence, and I saw that, and I was like, alright, looks solid. I'll give this one, you know, $5 issue a shot, and that was the big thing. Between the three of these... I dropped 15 bucks, which is pretty much a trade for notably less than a trade. All right. Second up is Superman, and this is the worst cover of all of them. I don't know, the expressions of the characters just look awkward. It's really just a odd pose, and it's really hard to see, but there's some of the cast in the background next to the Daily Planet, along with Crypto who was the savior of the War of Superman, if you read it carefully. Also, lastly, there's Wonder Woman. <clears throat> and this cover is a stock Wonder Woman cover, frankly, with a horrible expression on the cover. I'm sure it's some famous artist who did the cover, but frankly, there's better art on the interior. Also, notably, different about the Wonder Woman cover is there is no Comics Code Authority seal on the cover, unlike the other two, which just something I thought I'd point out. Now, before I actually really talk about the content, since there's been a lot of talk about price points and everything, I just want to break down what these $5 issues are per comic. The Batman comic is 30 pages of actual comic material all one story broken up by different artists, plus nine pinups, and then four pages talking about the Batcave, which is a total of 43 pages. Now, Superman is three different stories with um, different creative teams that amount to 42 pages, and there are no pinups, and there are actually three pages of text talking about different super titles, but I don't really count it as contact in my count due to the fact that it's really just solicits printed up on a page with thumbnail art, basically, so I feel it was essentially garbage in an ad. Now, the Wonder Woman comic is 48 pages of content overall, which is actually... 11 pages of pinups within that, which is a fair amount of pinups, but there are still 30, 34 pages of actual comic, which is a f fair chunk, though not really much above what you pay, but you're also getting all those pinups. But also, more notably, is there are two text pages that are actually more powerful than normally you'd see with just a text page in a comic. And I'll talk about that later in the review. 